Hey, my beautiful G3 family. Welcome back to Goddess Guidance. And to all my new viewers, thank you so, so, so much for tuning in. Welcome to Goddess Guidance. My name is Jasmine, but you can call me the Lemurian Goddess. And I'm here to bring you guys the weekend wine. You know what time it is? Yeah, we about to get lit. <laughs> we about to zap into this energy and see what mother wants to tell us, you know, what advice she wants to give us, what we can look forward to, what we can look out for. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're going to see what's going on. As I was meditating on the energy, <clears throat> somebody's working too much. <laughs> Somebody works a lot. And mother wants you, maybe this weekend, take some time to yourself. Or maybe that's what somebody is doing. Somebody's like, yo, I work so much. Like, I work so much during the week. Or I work so hard during the week. Or I just, I just really work all the time. And this weekend, I'm going to take some time to myself. I'm going to, you know, tap into that self-care, that self-love. Do what I like to do. Do what makes me laugh, what makes me smile. I feel like, yeah, somebody is like, yo, I, I, I'm done with work. And, and not done with working because I feel like this is somebody who likes to work. I'm, I'm seeing some, some, uh, they like the bag. They like the, they like the ends. You know what I'm saying? So if this is somebody who doesn't mind working, who does, who enjoys working as well. But it's like, um, I feel like somebody has realized that work has, is interfering with the self care, with the self love. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely getting a lot of, people recharging, right? A lot of people uh, s slowing down on the work or what they, um, you know, go so hard for all the time and just taking time for self. <clears throat> and if that's not the energy you're in, Mother said it's time to take some time for yourself. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, that's what I'm seeing, that's what I'm, that's what I'm getting. So yeah, we're gonna, get deeper into the energy thank you mother for the messages that has already come through i feel like there was something else see i need to start writing i need to start writing it down <laughs> because there was something else pressure intensity i feel like it was something along those lines something is about to be intensified Something is about to be recharged, reawoken. So, something in you is maybe intensified. Let me get one more. These cards so big, I can't even shuffle them. Right. <laughs> the light. Weave, weave your spell by the light of stars and listen to your inner voice. Intuition on point. Pinnacle. Protect yourself from negative and evil energy. The unk. The unk represents the key to all hidden knowledge. The loop symbolizes the eternal soul as it has no beginning or no end. Yeah, I feel like um, somebody is really... This weekend is really all about self, for real. And not self where you're you know, you have to be by yourself, anything like that, but self where you're doing, you're protecting yourself. You're going towards your knowledge, your hidden knowledge, your wisdom, okay? You're shining your light, listening to your inner voice. So I feel like this weekend is all about you. Yeah, all about you, what you love to do, what you like to do, what you want to do, okay? Who you want to be with, who you don't want to be with, who you want to be around, who you don't want to be around, who you want to laugh with, who you don't want to laugh with. It's like, it's, it's, this, is, this is about your choices. And I'm, I'm seeing somebody's making a lot of choices along the lines of self-love, along the lines of self-care, along the lines of this 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 thing is all about me yeah they don't like that they don't like people don't like when you feel like that <clears throat> they don't like when you're in that energy when you're shining your light when you're only focused on your light when all you care about and all you want to see and experience is your light because you you're, you know you understand and know that your light is what brings in your manifestations 
it is what brings in the things that you love, the things that you, you want, the life that you uh, you desire. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody here is shining their light. And I'm, I'm seeing you blonding it. Yeah, somebody's out here blonding people. Ooh, you, you blonding a lot of people this weekend. Because you bright. Because <laughs> you tapped into to the source. You tapped into you. Okay, you tapped into self. And you and the source are one. Don't get it twisted, okay? And not only are you tapped into yourself, you tapped into your purpose, your focus, your, your skills, <laughs> which, like I said, it's your pinnacle. What, what brings you um, um, happiness and completion? <laughs> and you're protecting yourself from a whole lot of negative energies and evil energies this weekend. <laughs> Mother is very, very, very happy, okay, because you're, you're, you're shining your light. I, I'm seeing that your light illuminates the negative and evil energies around you. Mother wants you to tune into what your, your light is showing you, to really hone into what that, trust, trust that intuition, trust what this light is revealing to you, okay? Because I feel like you are revelation. You are, you, you come, you have come to reveal. You have come to show. You have come to shine light on injustice. You have come to shine light on the things that are being done behind closed doors. You have come to shine light on those type of things with your light with your truth, with your purpose, with your wisdom, with your hidden knowledge, with your soul. An avenging angel, that's what you have come here to do, shine light. And this light that you are, and this light that you shine, protects you. Because mother wants you to understand and know that what this light illuminates is the truth. What this light is revealing to you is the truth. Okay? You have a lot of wisdom. A lot of hidden knowledge. And I feel like you have unlocked this within yourself. You have unlocked hidden knowledge. You know things that are not written in a book. You know things that the average person d don't know. And this hidden knowledge is truly wisdom. It's truly your guidance. It's truly what powers your light. So your wisdom is empowering your light, which is shining and illuminating and revealing these negative and evil energies around you. Mother is saying you can even start wearing crystals for protection, protective crystals, and you know, whatever you can do to protect yourself, do that. Spiritual baths, candles, uh, 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 protection rituals, uh, uh, um, 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 what are those things called? It's like a symbol, I forgot, I forgot the name of them. But there's a lot of things that you can do to protect yourself. But your light is shining on, on all of these things so you can protect yourself. So you can keep yourself away from these things. And I feel like you know this. Mother is saying she is so proud of you for trusting your intuition. Trusting this hidden knowledge. Trusting this wisdom within you. And continuing to move towards your path. Yeah, I feel like somebody, and, and, and even if this is a workspace... Somebody's about to take vacation. You put in vacation days because you're protecting yourself from these negative and evil energies that's on your job that's trying to suck you dry because your light illuminates them. Your light irritates them. It irritates their demons. It irritates these entities that's attached to them. It irritates that. So mother is saying, you know what? Cause yeah, somebody was about to lose it. That's okay. Yeah, somebody was about to, to bug out. 
but you take but you you taking some time to yourself if somebody was really about to bug out on their job that's what i just it's like somebody was really about to really tell somebody how they felt curse words and all of that like you know i'm talking about your mother and all of that like you you was about to like go off on somebody and i feel like you took a vacation and that's exactly what you were supposed to do <laughs> or th that's what you need to do okay so, so you can recharge because i feel like these these entities and these negative ass energies has has sucked you so it's like they, they got you to the point where you're because at the end of the day you are an earth angel but you are an avenging earth angel so at the end of the day, you want to really give these people a piece of your mind, a piece of, you don't even bother these people. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing you on your job. You don't even bother these people. You do your job. You try to come in. You try to be nice. You try to be res respectful. And these people still find a way to, 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 to try to get you into some drama. Y your name is still being circulated. And, and you're trying to understand, if I stay to myself, why is this going on? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> You're trying to understand if I say to myself, why is this going on? And it's because these energies and they they are they are like um antagonizing you because they want you to bug out. They want these things, they want you to, to be upset. So you're like, yo, let me go on vacation. I got these vacation days. I feel like somebody don't even care if they got vacation days. Listen, you you calling in vacation on you taking vacation on your sick days, on sick time. Cause you like, nah, this is, <laughs> this is, this is my pinnacle. This is how I, this is how I support my, my family. This is, this is how I support, you know, what I have going on, my children, my life. So I can't bug out and lose, you know, my support. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take some time and recharge. Yeah. Mother said, take this, take this weekend or whatever, whenever you get a chance to, to take some time. Of, don't bug out on these people. Please, because I'm seeing it's not going to be pretty. It's really not. And then they're not even going to understand because your anger is different. So you bug out on these people and to you and to a, another avenging angel, it will make sense. But to the average mind, it's like you're going too far. Because <laughs> I'll be sitting there with you like word, like facts. You had to do what you had to do. <laughs> But a normal person would probably be like, uh, yeah, you didn't have to do all of that. Like, you, like, <laughs> now this person can't walk. You see how that go? Like, you, you can't do that because all you was, all they was doing was talking and now they, they can't walk. You took it too far. So mother was saying, take vacation. <laughs> But yeah, continue to, to shine your, your light this week and continue to protect yourself. You're going to get deep into the energy. Thank you, mother, for the message that has already come through. What else would you love my beautiful 3, 3G, G3 family to know? Oh, my gosh. Yo, the vision that I saw, I'm telling you, it was crazy, y'all. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Daydreams and decisions. Yes, daydreams and decisions. I, I'm seeing that somebody's in their head a lot. You're in your head a lot and it's time to take action, right? I feel like somebody is making a decision or somebody has made a decision. Somebody is choosing peace. Somebody is choosing love, okay, with this heart here. Somebody is choosing love. They made a decision to, cho to choose love. They've been daydreaming about something. Okay, they've been day somebody has somebody has been daydreaming, and I feel like this weekend you make your decision on something, right? You choose love, you choose way, you choose peace, you choose happiness, you choose nature, you choose life, you choose abundance, you choose happiness, right? You choose all you choose the things that are for you. Yeah, that's self-care, self-love. You choose the best life for you. And the best life for you is not around these negative energy, these negative and evil energies. Okay, this is why this is why you're this light because mother is saying with you ha you have to in order to even get to this point you have to shine as bright as you're shining right now okay you 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 have to be somebody who who doesn't care about what others think you have to be somebody who um who really just 
just you have like that a surety is that a word a surety because i will make it up <laughs> You, you, the assurance. There we go. Yo. <laughs> that assurance. Yo. <laughs> yeah, I'm, about, I'm about to start this over. <laughs> nah. The, the, the assurance. You know, you, you really got to just know within your, somebody just knows who they are. That's really what it, you have to know who you are in order to be able to shine this, this bright. You got see in order to be able to shine this light to in order be in order to be able to to, to shine light on the spells that's being done to shine light on the, the the evil and the darkness to shine light on the love in order to be able to really do that you have to be tuned into self you have to know who you are and I feel like because you're in this energy you're now choosing what's best for you, right? As you move forward, every choice, every decision, everything you're doing, you're trying to do it in, in, in a sense that's best for you, for your future, that's going to bring forth good karma, that's going to bring forth a good harvest. It's like you're, at, you're, not, you're tired of reaping bad harvest. You're tired of going through the same thing. You're tired of experiencing the same thing. You want better. You want different. You want more. And you understand in order for me to, to have more, to get more, to receive more, to, to experience more, I have to really know who I am. So basically, I know who I am. So now I'm making choices and, and, and decisions uh, along the lines of what's best for me. Okay, cool. So mother is saying, I'm going to help you with this light, right? So now you're, I'm a, you know, you know who you are. I'm a God. I'm a goddess. I, you know, I am nature. I am one with the universe. I am one with the womb. I am one with mother. I am one with father. I am one with my neighbor. I am one with the animals. When you kind of understand how this, how, how the circle of life, Life is going you you know who you are mother is saying all right I'm going to increase this light I'm going to help you shine brighter so now you can see what's best for you and what's not best for you so you can choose what's best for you and I feel like mother is proud that she can that she can that, that not even that she can that you got to got yourself to this point where you're you're shining this light where you activated the fire within you that blaze within you and you can and you can shine and and, and and it's like blinding it's blinding to people but it's only blinding to people so you can see people can't see what you see because your light blinds them you're trying to understand why somebody can't see something the way you see it, but it's because your light is blinding them. It's blinding them, but it's revealing to you everything that you need to know to move forward, to make the best decisions for you. Once you work with nature, nature works with you. Once you work with mother, mother works with you. Once you work with father, father works with you. Once you work with the womb, the womb works with you. So, oh, I know who I am. Cool. Shine. Be. Be. It's like. <laughs> it's like you, you did your part in the, in the universe. And, and mother and father, they, they did their part. And, and, and bam. And now you're, you're, you're making wiser decisions, better decisions. And you're choosing to leave all of that negative shit, all of that, all of these negative and, and evil energies. You're, 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 you're choosing to protect yourself from them. Okay. Daydreams and decisions. Yeah, because people are watching you. People look up to you. Okay, you have people that look up to you. They, it's like um, you, and not so much you can't make the, the the wrong decision, but you're at in a position where it's like the wrong position will, will, will or, or the wrong decision. I'm sorry, the wrong decision will cost you a lot. So you 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 can't make bad decisions. <laughs> it's like <laughs> a lot. You have a lot of people that um. Yeah, I feel like you're an inspiration. You inspire a lot of people. You help a lot of people. People, you know, they... 
they see you as some, some type of trusted source, trusted guide, trusted guru. They see you as, um, you know, like a trusted parent. You can, you can have like, you know, motherly or fatherly energy, or you could be a mother or a father. Okay. But whatever it is, is you have people that look up to you, people that, um, they don't hang on your every word, but it's like they they appreciate your words. They take your words serious. They take your actions serious. You know, it's like they respect you. So you you wanna you wanna stay in that energy. You wanna make decisions because and not and not and it's not necessarily like pressure. Cause I that's mmm. Because I did hear pressure. I did hear intensify before I started this. But I, that's not, I'm not getting that from this. I'm not getting that that you're pressured to make the right decision. I, I just feel like you're, you're in a position where you just, you, you if, any, if there's any type of pressure, it's, 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 you're, you're putting pressure on yourself to make the right decision. And, and oh, 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 I feel like that's probably what the, where the pressure is. You're pressuring yourself to make the right decisions. It's like, it's like you, you're so scared. This is why somebody's in their head. Okay. You're in your head so much. And mother's saying you don't have to be. Okay, so this is not for everybody. This this can be, this is a general reading. So this is not going to resonate with everybody. So, you know, get in where you fit in. Don't put on a shoe, a shoe that don't fit. You know, blase, blase, blah. You know how it go. But at the end of the day, what I'm seeing is somebody here is like they, 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 it's like they're pressuring themselves. It's like they, they, they're putting themselves under too much pressure where they can't even, it's like they, they can't even make a decision. Mother is saying this pressure is not coming from anybody else but you. And it's because of fear. You're still allowing fear to, to, to play a, a, a role in your life as you move forward. You've mastered fear. Fear no longer serves purpose in your life. Fear never served a purpose, but at, at one point, you it, it did. Mother's saying that point is over. No longer make decisions out of fear. Stop putting pressure on yourself out of fear. You have illuminated, you have become the light. You know who you are. You're not, you're, you know how to protect yourself from negative and evil energies. You know what negative and ev evil energies look like. You are the light. You know what they look like. You know what they sound like. So at the end of the day, stop putting so much pressure on yourself to make the right decisions and know that you are making the right decisions. Whatever decision that you that you decide to make is the right decision, especially when it's made out of self-love, especially when it's made out of self-care. Because making those type of decisions out of self-love and self-care is making decisions out of the highest frequency, frequency which is love. Self-love is the highest frequency. That's, we need to change that. It's not love is the highest frequency. Self-love is. Because once you understand how to love self, everything outside of you, you understand and know how to love. Once we stop putting ourselves in the forefront, that's when life becomes unloving, unkind, untrue. So you're not in a position where you're making those same decisions as you were before, because now you're shining brighter. Now you see more, you have more knowledge, you unlocked more hidden knowledge, you have unlocked, you have tapped into your soul, into the source. You know that there is no beginning and no end to you, that you are eternal. You know who you are. So now the decisions that you make are going to be based on that hidden knowledge, that wisdom that you have unlocked. Get out of your head. Know that you're making the, the, the best decisions for you, even when you're in protection mode. Even when it's people that you love. Love people from afar. You don't have to be around people. You don't have to give people your energy. You don't have to be there to love somebody. Especially... If it's, if it's going against self-love. 
Because you can't be there for anybody loving them if it's going against you. Because now you're showing yourself that you don't love yourself. So how could you even love whatever you're acting like you love? Self-love is the best love. When people don't have that, they continue to put themselves in, in positions where people don't, where they, where people don't love them. Because the energy that they're truly giving off is, I don't love myself. So I feel like that pressure, that fear, release it this weekend. Release it right now. Take a deep breath and know that you're making the best decisions for you that you're doing what's best for you, what's best for your future. Nobody has to live your future but you. Nobody has to live your destiny but you. So when you allow other people to make the decisions for you, what type of future is that? That's not gonna be a fulfilling one. So now you die unfulfilled. Why? When you can make the choice to live a fulfilling life. You're doing that. You know that this is the right way. You know that those are the, the, that that's the right decision. Where is the pressure coming from? That, that's the question that you ask yourself. Where is this, this, this anxiousness coming from? It's coming from fear. And fear is the absence of love. So, you love yourself. Why is there fear? Is that an illusion of fear? Because fear is an illusion as well. Is it all in your mind? All is mine, so yeah. So do I have to change my thinking? Bingo. Change my thought process? Bingo. And that's all mother is trying to get you to see right here, right now. The pressure removes when you start changing the way you think about what is best for you. When you start really putting that and knowing that that is the best, is like, like you're not doing anything wrong when you're doing everything right for you. Unless you're out here hurting other people and doing like causing physical harm and, and hurting, like I don't, you know, that's A, I'm not talking to, about that or to you. That's crazy. But if these are the right decisions for you and you're not causing harm to anybody, the mother wants you to be bold in that decision. Okay? Yeah, that would have, that's where that pressure was coming from, that fear. Remove the fear. I'm telling you, that's not, it's not, it's, fear's not even there. It's just an illusion, it's all in your mind, all in your head, okay? Look, one card, let me, challenging times. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's giving me that fear. Okay. Mm. Mm. Look, I'm telling you. Mother wanted me to go, okay, mother wanted me to see that car first, because I'm like, because now I'm getting a whole different story. Oh, whoa, observe want to come out so bad. Somebody is watching you. Somebody is all up in your, why you all in my grill? Why you all in my grill? Somebody's refusing to see. <laughs> Somebody's refusing to see something. I'm seeing somebody here. Who is refusing to see. They're, re they're refusing to, to see what, okay. I feel like if somebody doesn't change their focus, 
this got real serious. This just got real serious, okay? If somebody doesn't change their focus, this is not for everybody. Look, my, my, I'm shaking. Somebody is trying to, trying to win at, at all costs. Somebody is trying to get you. Somebody is trying to cause challenging times. Somebody is trying to block your throat chakra. Look, throat chakra in the reverse. Somebody wants you to have challenging times. Somebody is like envisioning some type of darkness over you. Somebody is envisioning their fears. It's under daydreams and decisions, darkest fears. Somebody is daydreaming and putting and sending their fears towards you. Somebody's refusing to see their actions. They're, they're, somebody's trying to understand why they're going through all of these challenging times, but it, they're refusing to see their actions. I'm shaking. Somebody's refusing to see some type of negative energy, some type of evil energy. But I feel like you see it. This is why you, this person is standing here with this shield. I feel like you are protecting yourself from some type of challenge in times that somebody is, is refusing to see. Somebody has been doing something. They're waiting for the results, but they're refusing to see that whatever they was doing is not working because you are protected. Ooh, somebody is daydreaming and wishing on your downfall but you are so protected. Somebody's portraying their fears and push and trying to push their fears on you, but you are protected. Win or lose, upside down. These energies are trying to get you win or lose, but they have been stopped in their tracks. These, these people are refusing to see that they have been stopped in their tracks. These people are refusing to see mothers trying to get them to change their focus, tap into their heart chakra, tap into some type of self-love. That's what it is. Somebody here doesn't have self-love and they wish that you didn't have self-love somebody here is oh five 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 challenging times changes something changed a dynamic change okay something changed and somebody is refusing to see the change all right they're refusing to accept the change i am why i'm shaking somebody is refusing to accept the change oh the change in you that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing that you became bright like i said you tapped into self you, you you became the source you know who you are you 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 understand who you are i'm, I'm loving this picture I, I see the full picture right here right now okay what was that 30, 33 33 and um 33 and 3 on the clock just now um so somebody could be seeing 333 once you found out who, who you were once you tapped into your energy, once you started to shine your what? Your light, okay? Look, feathers, feathers is behind light. Once you started tapping into your what? Your truth, right? Be honest with yourself. There's somewhere in your life where you haven't been upfront. Mm. When, when, when you started to tap into your truth and when you started being honest with yourself, because you wasn't being honest with yourself at one point, okay? You was accepting a lot of shit. You was al allowing a lot of shit to happen. You were saying some things, but you wasn't saying nothing. You were just allowing people to get away with certain things. You were, you, you, you really weren't uh, uh, being upfront. You really were, weren't being honest with yourself. But once you started become, being honest with your, yourself, once you started tapping into your, your, your eternal soul, once you started tapping into that hidden knowledge, that wisdom, once you started to do that, you, you started to make better decisions for yourself. I'm seeing that whatever, once you decided to make better decisions for yourself, whatever and whoever you were around refused to see this. They refused to see this change. They refused to accept this light. What did I, what did I say? Your light is blinding. Your light is blinding to these people. They can't see. Not only are they refusing to see, they can't see.
And now that these, and now that you, you've moved on, now that you've cut certain energies out of your life, now that you have decided to put you first and decided to make the best decisions for you, who these people that you have left behind, they are daydreaming and wishing and hoping that you come into some challenging times, that you don't speak your truth. They're wishing and hoping that, that, that some type of darkness come, come around you. But I, I'm seeing these people are in darkness. They 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 are being one two three four five. These energies were they did they did something five times to you or they they did some some something something about five. Look, that's five again. Five five five. Changes changes changes. It's a lot of changes taking place in these people's lives as well too. But they're refusing to see that it's their actions. They're refusing to see that it's their actions that's bringing to what that's bringing these challenging times. See, your light is so bright. These people is blinding these people, but these people don't have to stay blind. All they have to do is change their focus. All they have to do is stop looking at you. All they have to do is get off of you. It's like somebody got their eyes. They can't stop. You're blinding them, but they can't stop looking at you. They can't. And, and then they're trying to understand why, why they keep having challenging times. But it's because whatever they're thinking, whatever they're, whatever it's going on in their mind, these challenging times that they're wishing on you, they're wishing that you shut the hell up. They really wish that. With this throat chakra in reverse, they're wishing that you'll shut your ass up. Because it's something about you speaking your truth and becoming upfront now is what's really blinding them too. I feel like your voice is 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 your shield. Ooh, mother said somebody's voice is their shield. When you speak, that is your protection. Mm, they don't want you to speak. When you speak, it's your protection. When you speak, it's their revelation. You reveal them. But they're refusing to see something. They're refusing to see that it's them. It's their decisions. It's their choices. Yeah, they're refusing to see that their choices is what got the is what got their harvest all in reverse. These people cannot manifest shit right now okay whoever was coming towards you my beautiful g3 family they cannot manifest shit right now they their harvest is all upside down they're all in reverse okay they're not healthy they're sickly these people don't 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 have abundance they 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 have lack they're refusing to see that their lack is because of them, their choices. What, two, two deals with choices. Look, two, 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 year 22. Yeah, somebody made the wrong choices this year. Somebody made the wrong decisions this year. Somebody's refusing to see that their decisions that they made towards this light. You are an earth angel towards this light is what got them in this position that they're in, is what got their harvest in lack. Yeah, you sailed away from this situation. You, 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 you found out who you were and you sailed away from a situation, okay? You started to make, the, you, you said, no, something is not for me. I'm going to go towards what's for me. Somebody that ch chose love. Yeah, I'm saying, oh, this high priest. Somebody, yep, somebody was doing magic in the darkness. They're trying to understand why why they ha why they're going through challenging times. It's because they they oh, it's a warlock. This could be a masculine energy that's facing challenging times because they're refusing to see their choices when it came to the earth angel. That's five two changes. There's changes going on. I feel like this the yeah, this this light started illuminating what what was going on in the darkness and that's what brought that's what brought this, these challenging times so the more you you shined the more you spoke your truth was you were shining light on the darkness 
that these people were refusing to see within them. They were refusing to see the darkness within their choices, within their decisions. They were refusing to see them, but I feel like they can't, because you shine so bright, they can't, they can't ignore them anymore. This is why they want you to shut up. Clarify this throat chakra in reverse. This is why they don't want you to speak your truth. Because they they liked they liked they liked acting like they didn't know. Look, blinded. They liked acting like this. Look, the eight of the eight of swords. They liked this uh this uh mental prison that oh that you were in. See, somebody wanted to keep you in some type of mental prison. But every time you speak your truth, you are no, it's like once you started speaking your truth, once you came into yourself, you broke out of this mental prison. Now, everything that these people were wishing on you, they're going through. And they're, even, they're, they're refusing to see that. They're refusing to see their decisions. And I feel like the, when you didn't speak your truth, you could. it was like everybody could stay blinded. Everybody could, you know, know it's like you, you kept... You kept a lie going when you didn't speak your truth. You kept a, a facade going when you didn't speak your truth. Clarify darkest fears. This is why they want you to shut up. I'm sorry, they want you to shut the hell up. Oh, they want you to shut the F up. Sheesh. Five, yo. 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 Yo, these people fear you coming into some type of success. They fear this. They fear you coming into some type of abundance. These are these people's darkest fears. They, these, they're so fearful. One, two, three, four, five. Didn't I say five? It was five times. They did five things to you. They did, they did some type of ritual, some type of spell five times. They burned some type of candle five times. They thought some, some type of thought five times. They did something five times. And, th and, and, and those five times brought the changes. It, it brought changes. It did. But it didn't bring the changes that they, that they thought it was going to bring. They, it didn't bring the harvest that they thought it was going to bring. Because the harvest is upside down. These people were playing with you. They, they were attacking... I'm saying somebody here is better. You can be popular, popular. You can have, you know, um, you can be in the spotlight. Um, you can have a channel. You can be, a, 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 you know, just some type of master teacher. You, you can, you know, um, you're some type of guide. You, you help people. I'm just saying a lot of people love you. A lot of people, um, they honor you. A lot of people respect you. They, I, I just feel like a lot of people love your energy. They, they love what you, what you're about. They love how you, um, they love how you are. I'm seeing that you attract a lot of people. This light, yeah, that's what this light is going to do. You, you attract a lot of people in, and a lot of people, um, yeah, they love you for this hidden knowledge. They love you for, you know, th this wisdom that you provide. And I feel like these, these energies, or whoever, whoever this is, or these people are. It's like they fear you coming into this, into your, into your position. They fear you getting this, this recognition. They fear people um, loving you and, and celebrating you. They fear, it's like, that's one of their, it's like, they, because that lets them know that whatever they was doing didn't work. See, these people, was, they had this win or lose attitude. They didn't care if they won or lose. They just wanted to stop you. They didn't care if, if something worked out in their favor. They didn't even care the outcome. See, they, see, I, I feel like they didn't think that it was going to go like this. So they weren't thinking about the outcome. But now they see how what the, what the decisions, what their decisions brought them. They see this now. The sword of truth has been made. I feel like you made some type of decision. You put the sword down. And when you put the sword down, these people were still trying to have some type of issues with you, still trying to fight with you, still trying to be in some type of competition with you, still trying to, to harvest you, still trying. It's like you put the sword down and they still would not let up. 
they had this win or lose attitude because they were refusing to see their choices and their decisions is what made you put the sword down in the first place. They were refusing to see what they did themselves, right? These are victims, right? Everything is everything always happens to them, right? Everything is, oh, me, 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 right? But never me, me, me in a sense where um, it's, it's self-love. It's me, me, me because, oh, I, I, I don't know how to love myself because I, I um, uh, 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 struggle with self-abandonment issues. I struggle with all of these things. So I, me, me, me because I, I want to slurp up your energy and give you all of my negative um, energy. Hello? Protect yourself from negative and evil energies. You saw Fallout? These people wanted to continue to give you their negative energy. And you said, oh, hell no. I know who I am now. I know I'm the light. I know I don't, I don't, I don't deserve these things. I know I don't, I don't deserve this. I know there's something better for me. I know it. So I don't have to, yeah, queen of swords. Yeah, you started speaking your truth. You started speaking your truth and doing the, sh and doing the shit that you love to do. Clarify, I want to lose. Yep. Choices. People didn't make the right choices when it came to you. Seven of cups, seven of swords. And that's 777. Seven, seven. You can be seeing 777. Seven, seven. But people didn't make the right decisions when it came to you. <laughs> people did not make the right decisions. And now these people, and now, and, and now they still want to want to bring some type of communication. They still want to offer you some type of, it's like these people still are trying to offer you things and trying to, and it's like, but they're refusing to see. They're refusing to see something that you left a situation. They're refusing to see that their magic didn't work. They're refusing to see that you're no longer in this mental prison. They're refusing to see that their magic and, and their manipulation no longer works. They're refusing to change their focus. Okay, listen, 47 minutes, okay, 50 minutes. I wanted these, these videos to be 30 minutes, yo. <laughs> But let me tell you something. You got people all in their head this weekend. I feel like you are the center of attention because people are refusing to see themselves. People are refusing to see them see their actions, okay? My mother's saying continue to stay in your light. Continue to protect yourself. I mean, continue to shine your light. And continue to protect yourself. And continue to move um, and trust that, that wisdom. And that, that hidden knowledge, that your soul, continue to trust the soul within you, okay? Um, ooh. Yeah, you don't have to put so much pressure on yourself. Yeah, Lolita, Lolita wants you to be more playful, wants you to slow down, wants you to recharge, wants you to tap into yourself, wants you to, you know, do, do the things that makes you happy this weekend, okay? You don't even got to worry about these energies. They're refusing to see, but you see it all, right? They're refusing to see what you what you can't miss. They're refusing to see what, you, what your eyes refuse to stop showing you. So at the end of the day, Mother said, trust your sight, okay? Trust your sight this weekend. Trust your sight. See who's with us, Isis, Isis. Yeah, them pe people doing sex magic on you. People is, oh, but somebody, oh, somebody horny. Somebody horny this weekend too. That's so funny because I felt that. I don't even know why I felt that just now. I don't want to feel that. Um, <laughs> sexual energy is sacred, so I feel like somebody found somebody that they want to, um, you know, have a prayer with. <laughs> It says, it says, my pleasure is a prayer that brings me back to life. Yeah, yeah. somebody is, um, it's a lot of sexual energy, I feel like, this weekend. A lot of sexual tension. Listen, ooh, intensity. I said, I said pressure and intensity. So that, that could, hey, that can be it too. Somebody is, somebody's um, fire, their passion has intensified, right? And, um, I feel like somebody might be tapped into some sex energy this weekend or or, or, or thinking about it or, you, you know, masturbating, self-pleasure. I don't know. Listen, do what you do, all right? <laughs>
anyway i love you guys thank you so much for tuning in um i swear to goodness i'm going to make these videos 30 minutes i'm gonna get i'm gonna give me a clock i need a, i need a timer okay um please like share and subscribe let's continue to grow the g the g3 family love you guys so so much if you got anything you want to leave your girl a donation all my information is down below until next time guys i love you Peace.